G'day and welcome to part 19 of my biking flying adventure. So I got the flight of the day yesterday according to XC Contest and today I'm heading down to Bright. I'm trying to dodge the storms on the way down. Well, it's storming. I just left Medilla because the storms were covered in and I was hoping to beat them, but I failed. <laughs> so I'm going to put my waterproofs on and try and find a hotel or something to crash in. Buddy. It's smashing down. I don't want to ride in, th ride in a thunderstorm, so I booked this cabin. Really nice here. Beautiful little caravan park. Let's go check it out. See what 80 bucks gets me. Mm. Very nice. Even got a bathroom. Most civilized, most civilized place I've been in a while. Shower. Yeah. Oh, the dramas don't stop. Just went to start the bike, go grab some dinner. She went bzzz, and now she has no power. Might have blown a fuse or shorted something out. Never stops, does it? Drama after drama. Good morning. See if we can find out what the hell's going on with this bike. I was reading up on the KLR 650 forums last night. KLRs are great because there's so much information about them. Probably a uh, blown battery, possibly a blown fuse. Hopefully nothing more serious than that, like arced out electrics. Um, but if it's got fuses in it, they sh that shouldn't happen at all. So yeah, so I had to pull everything off. Pulled off the, the bread crate. This thing's bloody brilliant. It's just so solid. Like all that riding, um, bashing around everywhere. No sign of any wear on it at all. It's bloody fantastic. I, I detached it with these self-locking releasable zip ties so I can just pull the zip ties off, put them back on again. I'm really glad I did that now. That looks like... I don't think that'll be it. I think that's the aftermarket. Shit. Doesn't look blown. This looks like the battery box. I'm going to have to pull shit off it to get into that. This is the fuse box. Uh, how do you open it? There we go. That one's alright. That one's alright. That one's alright. It ain't the fuses. See any fuses on her. Hmm. Uh, look at this stupid design. So the battery's sitting under the frame. So it's really hard to get in in there to jump start it and sort of pull this out. The toolkit for the bike does not come with sockets that actually fit the um, fit the side frame. So you can't pull the battery out or even really get in there using the stock toolkit. So you have to make up your own. Might be cool in the RAA. Well, we jumped her, she's running, so looks like it's the battery. Got to try and get it to the mRNA joint without stalling her. So the roadside assist guy came, jump started the bike. He just used the frame and the exposed battery terminal to do the jump start. Put all my gear in his ute and he ran it over to the workshop. Now I've just got to get over there. Managed to source a new battery from the small engine mechanic. Slightly different size, so we just had to do a few minor mods to get it in. Bike's running fine. Now the forecast's looking really bad. Uh, a few people suggested I should stay at Manila, but my weather nose is telling me not to. I'm heading down to Bright, but it's going to be bad everywhere for at least the next three or four days. I'm going to go to my auntie and uncle's place that are near Bright and just hang out there and wait out the bad weather. I really need a break. I've been going hard for quite a while now and I'm exhausted. A few days with my feet up is really what I need to do. That bloody storm's coming straight towards me, but look at the map. It's probably about 
10 minutes out but I reckon I'm going to be able to outrun it because I'm going due south hopefully I'll be able to skip all this rain I've had much luck outrunning storms let's see how I do this time I better get moving yeah managed to dodge this one beautiful hmm due south through this I reckon if I keep going now, I'm going to go straight into it. Well, that is right in front of me, that rain. If I take my time, I reckon I'll miss it. Might even take a little bit of a detour to try and get around all this rain. to do that this looks like my auntie and uncle's place and it got here before dark i don't like riding late at night kangaroos are a problem made it dodged the rain beautiful oh well pulled into my auntie and uncle's place they're out having fun tonight but uh yeah this is quite civilized might uh Sit on the couch, have a drink, and uh, watch some Netflix. It's gonna be a storm tomorrow, so not much I can do. Well, look what I found wandering around on the side of the road. Didn't want him to get crushed, so picked him up, and uh, we're going to release him somewhere a bit safer. Australian long neck turtle, and he's a big, big, big boy. Hey, big fella. Yeah, it's pretty chilled out. All right, come on. Oh, that's a perfect spot, Alex. Say goodbye, big fella. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, gorgeous. Oh, I think he likes that spot. There he goes. Take it easy, big fella. <laughs>